women tend to be very trapped. They have to learn to touch their bodies. They have to learn to open up and they have to learn how to allow others to see that. I suppose I am the one that God has chosen to help them. He's so, a con artist, yeah. that's what he is. He's a straight con artist. professional makes money in the dance industry is teaching the students how to dance and by dancing with students in competitions. There's a competition somewhere in the world for them in every age level. They kind of reel you in. Professionals say, you know, you're really good, you know, you're a natural or you've got talent and you go, really? And they go, yeah, you know, you should go to a competition. And there's the lights and there's the people and after that you're hooked. The atmosphere is just so fantastic with the dresses and the bling. It's like a princess going to the ball. There's a lot that goes into it. You don't just walk out on the floor. The makeup, the hair. There's pre-tanning involved. The gowns can cost you thousands of dollars. The lessons are a fortune. Somebody in our dance studio spends at least $800 a week just on the lessons. I can pay five, 6000 a month easy. It starts adding up. I usually spend just on entry fees between $1,500 and $2,000. You also are paying your professional partner per dance to dance with you. If you're flying off to somewhere, I'm also paying for all of his expenses while we're gone. Dancing is an extremely expensive hobby, but I'm worth it. It's a very intense relationship when you go into a dance partnership. I have about six or seven students right now. I try to keep it professional. I mean, once we leave the studio, that's another story. Sharon is a wealthy, 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 freaking wealthy developer. All my clients are competitors because that's what I did. I accomplished and achieved and that's what I give out. If there was an award for the hottest looking guy on the floor, I'm pretty sure I would take it. <laughs> and I'm the partner of the most gorgeous person alive, so that works for me. I think it's a really appealing certain to older women. To Dance with young. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, get the attention. Every woman <laughs> or girl likes that. You gotta also realize that it's all just a show that you put on for the audience, but that line can get skewed and blurred at times because of how we interact with each other. So you gotta check yourself, you know, what, what's happening. Yeah. Because it is so sexual, and physical, people do get, you know, sexual and physical with, you, with one another. We have married women who love the dance teacher more than the husband. The husband does get jealous at times. I mean, there's plenty of incidences in Baltimore where they're like, literally the guy just walks in and be like, nope, you're leaving. I do have a student right now who is completely in love with me. They have every right to fall in love with you, it's their life, right? The women touch my chest and go, I love your costume. <laughs> That's not my costume, that's my chest. <laughs> the thing is awesome. No comment here. <laughs> Everyone says, oh, it's so much fun, but behind the scenes. It is competitive. You do everything possible to win. I've seen people take a lady's heel to the head. I get stepped on and get kicked, get slammed into. Literally broke my back in half. I still have metal in my neck. Quite often we'll see a wig on the floor at the end of a competition. I've been kicked, I've been attempted to be run over, almost stabbed to death out on the competition floor. There's definitely a lot of hair pulling and heel breaking, and then you get to the girls. Dancing with the stars is definitely for pussies. <laughs> <laughs>